Creativity is an addiction. You've got to build up your relationship with that inner core, that little voice inside your head that's saying, hey, hey, is it my turn yet? Hey, hey, is it my turn yet? Hey, when can I play along? Hey, when, whoa, whoa, don't steal from me. Come on. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Man, you step into a recording studio, and the first thing that happens is your imagination takes off like a child in a candy store. It's like, oh my God, there he goes. What's he going to do? I don't know. Just don't crash anything. Don't break anything. I can't afford it. That's why I love watching kids at, at a grocery store or even at a drug store because, I mean, they just, it's, it's like unbelievable fun to them. Even my dog, Jazzy, will walk into a hardware store such as Lowe's or Home Depot, and she is like all over that store just, just oh, this is mine. This is mine. I want to have this. It's a tool wrench. You, you, you don't need it. It, it. You don't have thumbs. You can't go. Uh, <laughs> The pleasures in life, are you seeing them? Are you feeling them? Are you documenting them? The pleasures, the things that make you giggle, that turn you into that child that's running around the grocery store just having fun. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And today we're reading from July 28th, 2022. It's very difficult to not look at the daily headlines. It's very, 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 very tough for me. Local as well as national news. I just can't break away from it. The news sources act as my barometer. These are the areas of darkness. Clear your path and do not include what it is that you are reading. Once again, it's very difficult because when it comes to life changing events experienced during these modern times, there is no place safe. Not even sitting in my own home with the window shades pulled down. I don't feel secure, safe because there's something going on out there and my head and heart and I'm sure it's the same way as you we want to know what's going on and how close is it to this place where I'm currently sitting how did we get here or has it always been present we're just more real with our realisms and history yeah we know about our history but but we only have time for what's going on right now rather than shunning family and friends each time something tragic unfolds we've learned to talk about it to keep it out in the open, to deal with the ups and downs, to prepare for what could be next. And there's always going to be something a little bit darker than yesterday. Rarely do people speak today of life in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Long lost and gone. But I'll tell you what, though. I I was just spending some time with Eric Zwag. He's teamed up with National Geographic Kids, and they've got a brand new book out that deals with numbers. But, But his job, and he'll tell you, I have nothing to do with numbers. I'm a sports writer. And so what Eric has done is that he's gone into this book, and he's bringing the history of football, Canadian as well as American football and hockey and all of these sports, forward. The story I shared with him is that being, you know, one of my, my, my jobs, my essential jobs is that I work at a grocery store. I went there because I was starving for people during the lockdown and I just happened to like it. So I've elected to stay because it's a connection to people. You, it's a connection. So I'm talking with Eric and I said, look, Eric, I, one, of, one of my games is that I'll see somebody with a, with a jersey on. It's red and it has the number 23 on it. Okay, to my generation, we know what that is. And I'll go up to him and I'll say, so, wh- wh- what do you think? What, ha- are, are you a fan? Or are you just like wearing the jersey? What are you talking about? The, the number 23, red jersey. You, you know whose that is, right? No. Really? And see, and, I, and, and inside my heart, it's going, we can't do this. We can't forget about the Muhammad Ali's of the world. We, we can't forget about the Wilt Chamberlain's of the world. When was the last time you heard that name? At least Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is consistently in the public eye in the Los Angeles area. And he tries to get his word out there by working with the community. But, but what about Larry Bird? You, you don't hear about that. Boog Powell? I heard he's got a bunch of restaurants up there in Baltimore and everybody loves him. But the thing is, is that what happens to the superstars? Long gone and forgotten. I'll start this over again. It's very difficult to not look at the daily headlines, local as well as national. The news stories act as a barometer. But we're forgetting our history. If I were to bring up Walter Cronkite in a modern day world, 
How many people would remember that name and why he was such a strong figure? Dan Rather. Am I getting closer to where you were? Chris Matthews. No, not yet. Hmm. Ted Koppel. No, we can't forget the history. I think somewhere on your smartphone, there should be a today. I'm going to learn about this person and how they participated with the process of where we are today. We can rip down the buildings in the cities that we live within and put up brand new things, new businesses, new homes, apartment complexes, but we can't rip down our history. I'm showing my age. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.